It's like it's to start. I just want to tell us your thoughts on the game. I think just yeah. with the running game in the second half. I mean, I knew we were playing a good football team. Yardage, you know, particularly in the running game, was going to be difficult for us. You know, we knew that going in. Certainly, you know, I want to stand up and easy recovers to come with us. So, you know, we wouldn't have got here without Jay. There is no question. James Robbins, you know, um, he, he's the catalyst, you know, for this team this year. I mean, there's no question. At the same token, I mean, he's devastated too because, you know, the, the, the turnovers, you know, a first and a second down turnover in the fourth quarter, you know, and, and you know, they're, they're not going to be a good team. You know, those are things; those are tough to overcome. Um, you know, particularly um, you know, with, with the first one when you get into a field position, that's a tip ball. You know, and sometimes you got the lawn, sometimes you don't. And, uh, but, but I do. Uh, I just want to be. You know, I'm grateful for our kids. You know, from where we were a couple of years ago to where we are now. We lost the game today, but uh, certainly that group in that locker room, once they recover, you know, they or I haven't gotten cheated. I mean, it, 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 this has been a great run. Um, the challenge will be for me, and it'll be for the kids that are coming back. It's, they all want to do this again, but you know, this is involved, this involved a lot of hard work over the last two years. And there, there is no question that it's, it's worth the work. And, you know, my hope is I appreciate all the people that put this game together. and. If we can energize a campus and a community, you know, the people on the outside will say, hey, let's make sure we do things to do this again. And, and that's what I'm shooting for. You talk about some of the turnovers your defense first forced in the first half that put you on the front foot. Yeah, they, they, they're their quarterback. They're probably the toughest play to defend from a defensive point of view is the broken play. You know, we kind of committed. We thought we were going to try to fit with coverage, which we did. We were going to make that quarterback throw into tight windows. You know, that involved three people on the rush. Certainly, the, the, the three-man rush you know, allowed him to. He's athletic. He's big. He's a senior. Um, and, and him being able to extend plays uh, that certainly was a, helped them offensively in the first half. I, I do think you always got to be careful. Uh, you know, Logan Weiss did a great job today, but you know, got to be you know, the, the field goal for touchdown exchange it isn't one you need to. In a tight game, you, you can't dance with too often, and, and that probably happened to us a, a few times. You know, this, we, we need to try to convert a little bit here, and, and we weren't able to. But you know, I thought you know, offensively, when you know, we had to avoid rush too, I mean, the defensive front was a pretty stout. And, uh, and I think our, once we got the ball in the perimeter, which is kind of been our mo down the stretch here, we played the good teams, we, we compete you know, out there. You know, our kids catch and run. Coach, you kind of talked about it a little bit, but what will this team mean to the program once they have a chance to reflect? I know it obviously hurts right now, but when you guys have a chance to reflect on this season, what does it mean to this program? Oh, there's no question to, to bring championship football back to Bridgewaters. I told the kids uh, before the game, you know, you know, my motivation, the pep talk is I just want it to continue. It's a challenge, but it's that much fun. Um, and my hope is, uh, you know, you're talking about it now. Sometimes that's life. You go out and play your butt off, and uh, you're giving out, trying to get the best effort you can get, and you still don't win. Uh, we got to learn that too as football players. But, uh, I, I think we need to take a step away from this. And these kids are sitting there at Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, there's nobody in that room that got cheated this year. It's been a great year. Um, the one thing is, it's, it's the nature of the beast, and it's probably one of the good things about it too. You always want more. You've gotten those big plays from different guys all year long. You kind of came full circle with Jordan Denham and getting the kickoff return to start the season, getting one to start this game. And just the way a guy like that, you know, kind of represents this program is somebody who waited his turn and found a spot where he could help out. I think it's a great story. And we have four or five Jared Denham's on the senior class. So, and I do think this. I'm not a understand human physiology, but uh, I got 21 seniors on my team, and I've got 21, 22, and 23 year old men running around out there playing football. That makes a difference. It makes a difference at the college level. Um, and certainly, uh, as I challenged our freshmen last night uh, in our team meal, uh, retention matters. And they saw it last night when I asked them. most of these kids uh, took the opportunity to get up and talk. And, uh, and Jared always has speed, he always could run. You know, there's a kid that didn't start for his high school team. It's at the national level of Division Three, making a difference on Saturday. 
J. Just what's what's the what's the message amongst the guys right now? I know this obviously hurts, but what what did this team mean to you guys, and what was this year like to go through and have the success you guys had to kind of put yourselves back on the national picture? Yeah, it definitely meant a lot to us. And obviously, it hurts. You know, when we come this far and they go out like we did, but everybody fought hard. And, and I think we got a lot to be proud of, but you know, we just gotta just hurts. Gary, asking the same question. What was the season like to go through? Obviously, a tough ending, but talk about what it was like to play with these guys. Um, I mean, it means a lot to all of us. I mean, every guy in that room is a critical piece of this team, from the from the scout guys to the starting quarterbacks, to our linebackers. We, we value everybody, and I think you know this year you felt it from the first day you walked on the camp, and all the way into now that there's a different feeling at Bridgewater now. And I look forward to seeing what the future holds for us and the immediate future, because we will be back. And have a better story this next time around. For any of three of you, this kind of the word about this team coming in was that, okay, to put it delicately, in between snaps they can do things that frustrated the team. And you guys were caught with a few unsportsmanlike penalties. Just like, how difficult was it to kind of overcome that aspect of it? And those things kind of kept their drives going at times. I'll correct you, the end of sports, Mike, was personal foul. Oh, <laughs> you know, I think our kids know the rules. I yeah. mean, uh, you know, when a quarterback's going to the sideline, that's considered sliding. You know, that's the, the, the idea to keep your hands off them. Uh, you know, but, but I think the, it wasn't, um, you know, those are two 15 yard penalties we didn't need, but those didn't decide a game. You know, I think there were bigger variables than that. And, uh, Again, both teams playing very, very hard out there today. But uh, you know, I don't know that. Um, I don't think. I'm, yeah, that's a poised play, but I don't think it was poised issues that were influencing the outcome of the game out there today. Um, back to you, what you're saying about you know, between the snaps and about that. Uh, I mean, when you got it's a critical game, uh, very big game for both teams, and you know you got you got carries on both sides of the ball. Um, you got in piles, you know, things are being said, you know, it's just it's what football is. And I think, you know, with those with this fouls, they definitely hurt. And, I mean, to let your emotions get the best of you and hurt your team is, is awful. Um, I, I personally had a face mask in the first half, which I didn't know about. But, you know, just the personal foul penalties definitely will bite you in the butt. And for the future teams, it's still going on. And for us in the future, we definitely got to eliminate nonsense penalties like that, for sure. Jay, in the first half, you guys played pretty well offensively, but you go into half with only 13 points. Do you feel like you guys maybe left some points on the board there in the first half that could have maybe made this a different game in the second half? Yeah, definitely a few drives in the first half we start out. But we still got points on the board. We only missed one field goal. Um, but coming out of the second half, we, we moved, ball, moved the ball well. We just started out too many times. And, and, and those two turnovers at the end of the game obviously were big, especially the last one. Um, can't turn the ball over. Four minutes to go, trying to drive down the field against. I mean, uh, yeah, you guys, Jay, I just wanted to ask one question each of the players. At first, you know, Jay, it was obviously hard to move the ball in the second half. But talk about those tough catches your guys made. You know, the two on the sideline. I thought your guys made some really big grabs to, to hang you guys in there. Yeah, definitely. Those were two big time plays, especially by um, um, Deontay Tucker and. Uh, Derek, Jen Derek Jenkins, but those those were big and those helped us move the ball, especially at that one drive. We come out with two big plays back to back. That was that was big, and uh, we just need to capitalize and, and get more points on the board. You can't come out and set for a field goal every time, but you know we moved the ball well. I think we just started out too many times. And same thing, you know, Gary, you and Chase had interceptions late in the first half that were big, and then, you know, late in the game, you had a third and one, you made a tackle for a loss that, you know, also kept you guys, you know, alive at that point, and you know, so you guys made some plays at big moments. Yeah, I mean, I mean, shout, shout out to them, I mean, that's, they're, they're, they're a good team, you know, we have an offensive that come in here, and, you know, with only a week to prepare, three games to prepare, um, you know, they're going to throw some stuff at you you haven't seen. I'm extremely proud of how we, how we game planned and how we, you know, made adjustments on the, on the, on the fly on the sideline. Um, we, we, Chase and I came up with big plays in the first half, but there's tons of other guys that made small plays that made really helped us out in the first half as well. Um, second half, we left some plays on the field, um, but you can't go back and you know say if this happened, if that happened. At the end of the day, you know we're all one team, and the, the scoreboard on the, on, at the end of the game, you know that's how the game went. Gets a little bit result. Yeah, I'll compliment their quarterback. I mean, that last touchdown was a big time. So, you know, we had to fit it out and cover. 
sometimes when you play good people, they make plays too. Yeah. Good. All right. Thanks, guys.